Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi with srlounge.com. All right, since we're still in this content area here, there's a few other things I want to talk about. And in this video, I want to talk specifically about culling. Now, you guys may or may not have heard that term before. Culling is just the process of rating your images. Lightroom gives us several different options of culling, several different systems to use. So you don't have to use all the systems. You can use one of the systems, two, all three, however you guys like, and you can set your own choices as far as what each one means. Uh, now we keep it kind of simple, but let me just go through the different options first. So if I right click on an image, I'm going to see that I can set a flag rating to an image. I can set an actual star rating to an image, or I can set a color label to an image. And the easiest way to do this is just using the shortcuts. So you can also do it with the menu, but that's a lot of clicking to do just to add a rating. So star ratings are one through five. So one star is one, two stars is two, three, and four, and so on. Colors can be applied by hitting 6, 7, 8, and 9. And that'll take us all the way from red, which is 6, green, which is 7, I'm sorry, yellow, which is 7, 8, which is green, and 9, which is blue. There's actually another set of colors, too. You have to right-click, and you can go to Color Label, and we have purple beyond blue, which we can also set. Uh, but you have to go into the menu, set it, because 0 actually sets the star rating back down to 0, which is what it defaults as. So we have 1 through 0 is all for rating systems. If you want to toggle one of the ratings, like for the colors, well, if this one has blue applied to it, so if I want to turn the blue off, I can either go into my menu, color label, and I can hit none, or I can just hit that color label number again. For this one, it's blue. If I don't know the color label, what I'll do oftentimes is I'll just select all my images, and I say I want to remove all of the color labels. So I selected everything by hitting Control A or Command A. I'll add a color label to all of it, so I'll make them all red, by hitting 6, and then I'll hit 6 again, which removes all of the color labels from everything. So I know that all the labels are reset now. While everything is selected, I'm also going to hit 0 just to replace or reset all my star ratings as well. And we have one other rating system, which is flags. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Control D or Command D to deselect everything so that I don't apply this to all my images. But selecting one image, I'm going to hit P, which flags an image as a pick. Now, once an image is a pick, we'll see it down here on the left side with the pick symbol. I can hit U to unpick it, and that's going to remove the flag. Or I can hit X to reject it, which is going to add the X flag to it. Now, whatever is X'd out is going to show as dimmed out on our grid view. And it's also going to show as dimmed out on our uh, film strip view. And that just shows that you know that's an image that we rejected that we're not going to use. So again, there's three different types of rating systems. You guys can use whatever you like for your calling system. I'm going to unflag this one. We actually stick to just a very simple system of flagging, unflagging, and rejecting. And then we'll mark something five stars if it's going to go on the blog. But we'll talk about that later on in this chapter when we actually go through an example of our workflow. But for now, just know that those are the different calling options and rating systems that Lightroom has built in.